to the Battle of the Books competition for the 2019-2020 school year. My name is Jim Kobe, and I'll be your host for this program this morning. And joining me are student teams from Krista McAuliffe Academy, Jefferson Elementary, Pleasant Valley Elementary, and Woodman Elementary School. Now these teams have already competed in preliminary rounds at their schools in order to appear on today's program. Of course, we're looking forward to some exciting games. Now, students were given a list of 64 books to read. They need to be familiar with events, characters, and authors of the books in order to answer the questions. They'll also give a book talk about one title from the list. Each team has drawn a book title and was given 15 minutes to prepare a three-minute presentation about the book. These book talks were taped earlier, and we'll be seeing them a little bit later here in the program. 12 points are possible for the book talk, and the points will be added to the scores in all of the rounds. Now, our first two teams to compete are Krista McAuliffe Academy and Jefferson Elementary. The folks here from Jefferson are on my left, your right, and we'll have them introduce yourselves, your name, and the title of your favorite book. Um, my name is Maria, and my favorite book is The Boxcar Children by Gertrude Warner. My name is Sharanya, my favorite book is Snowflake Valley by Martin. My name is Yvette, and my favorite book is Grump by Liesl Shirtless. My name is Nico, and my favorite book is jo The Doll People by Ann Martin. Okay, they are the Jefferson Falcons, and they're going to be opposed by the Krista McAuliffe Comets. If you would introduce yourself and the title of your favorite book. My name is Lucas, and my favorite book is At the Bottom of the World by Bill Nye. My name is Miranda, and my favorite book is um, The Boy That Saved My Life by, oh, I don't know. <laughs> That's all right. My name is Ashley. My favorite book is Rescue on the Origin Trail by Messner. Hi, my name is Joshua, and my favorite book is The Magician's Nephew by S.C. Lewis. Okay, very well. Thank you, Comets. My name is Jim, and my favorite book is Encyclopedia Brown, Saves the Day. Now, um, as we mentioned, you're given 64 books to read, and we're going to review the rules so the audience will know how the game is played. So each match consists of 20 questions given to alternating teams, and team members have 30 seconds in which to answer. They can confer about the answer, but only the person with the book in front of them can say the answer. Five points are awarded for a correct title, another five points if the team can also name the author. Now, if the team cannot answer the question or the answer is incorrect, then the other team is allowed five seconds to give an answer. Five points will be awarded for the correct title only. Now, the winning team in the first round will compete against the winning team in our second round for our final match of the day. Before we get started, let's take a look at those book talks from our first two competing teams. trying to be good guys? Uh-huh, and the characters are Mr. Wolf, Mr. Snake, Mr. Piranha, and Mr. Shark? Yeah, and the setting is in a pound and um, a, a jail. The main problem is that the bad guys actually try becoming good guys. Isn't the resolution where the bad guys free the dogs from the pound? Mm-hmm. Oh, guys, do you want some hot chocolate? Yes, please. Thank you. No, thank you, Marina. But, guys, the blizzard stop. Do you not have a snowball fight? No, no I'm just stay inside. Okay. Oh, guys, I'm going to have to go to the mall. Sure. What store do you guys want to go to? Let's go to Journeys. Okay. okay. Look, there's the bookstore. It has my favorite book, The Red Pencil by Andrea Davis Pinckney. What's the setting? The setting is a, in Amira's farm and in the shelter place. What are the characters? The characters are Amira, her mom, her, I mean Layla, her, her da Dando, and Old Anwar. What's it about? Um, 
It's about this Amira. Uh, she lives with her family in a farm, and then her her best friend moves away to a school, and she wants to go, but her mom said it's a waste of time. Um, and then they get bombed by these bad guys, and Amira's uh, dad dies, and the animals. What's the resolution? The resolution is that Amira tries to go to um, her best friend's school, um, old, and then old Anwar finds her, and they go back to the shelter. That sounds like a good book. I think I have enough money to buy each of us a copy. That's the last book of the copy as well. Let's get him. Let's go Jefferson! All right, Krista McAuliffe Academy earned 12 points on their book talk and Jefferson Elementary also earned 12 points. Great job there on both teams and they start the round then with those scores. All right, let the battle begin. The team from Krista McAuliffe will answer our first question and that is Lucas. In which book does a man use a pine tree to brush his beard? So they can confer with the team for up to 30 seconds. Do we have? Go ahead, go ahead. Paul Bunyan by Kellogg. Paul Bunyan, A Tall Tale by Stephen Kellogg is correct. So five points for the title, five points for the author. You pass the book down, Lucas, and we come over here to Jefferson Elementary and Maria for their first question. In this book, a girl mouse promises a porcupine salt that he will protect her from the great horned owl. Name the book. Porcupine salt. All right, looks like we're close to our answer. Okay, 30 seconds is up. You have five seconds to steal if you can give the title. Poppy by Avi. Poppy by Avi is absolutely correct, and you get five points, and we will stay here with Miranda. The characters in this book are looking for worthy opponents and tired of winning. Name the book. The Legend of Rock, Paper, Scissors by Daywalt. That's correct for 10 points. The Legend of Rock, Paper, Scissors by Drew Daywalt. Okay, well played over here. We come over here. It's Harania should have the book in front of her. In which book does Tom let a spring go from the top of the stairs? The marvelous thing that came from the spring. The marvelous thing that came from a spring by? Gilbert Ford. By Gilbert Ford. That is correct for 10 points. Okay. And it is SJ's turn over here for the Krista McAuliffe Comets. In which book does the main character love all parts of engineering, including brainstorming, design, research, making prototypes, and testing? And the raucous riveters by Beatty. By Beatty. That's correct. I think you got a little help there. Good job there. Good teamwork. Rosie Revere and the Raucous Riveters by Andrea Beatty. It's good for 10 points. All righty. Over here to the Falcons of Jefferson and Yvette. The main character of this book remembered all of the people who had been kind to her family as they traveled from Chicago to Alabama. She gave her brown bear to a little boy who was scared of traveling. Name the book. Go 
traveled from Chicago to Alabama. She gave her brown bear to a little boy scared of traveling. Chance for five points. Winnie's Great War by Maddock. No, I'm sorry. The correct answer is Ruth and the Green Book by Calvin Ramsey. We will stay over here with Joshua. In which book do the main characters follow clues leading them to the Temple of Horus in Edfu, Egypt? So, Samantha Spinner and the Super Secret Plans by... That is correct. Su Samantha Spinner Res and the Super Secret Russell, Plans. Russell what? Russell Gins. Russell Gins is correct. All right, 10 points. A lot of teamwork going on over here from Kristen McAuliffe. Well done. All right, it is Nico's turn for Jefferson. Nico, our main character struggles when she tries to talk to classmates. So her good friend Jenny makes a list of things she can talk about and questions she can ask. Real Friends by Shannon Hill. No, nope, I'm sorry, that's not correct. Five points if you can give the title. Stella Diaz has something to say by Angela Dominguez. That is correct. Stella Diaz yes. has something to say by Angela Dominguez. So you get five points and we'll stick here with Lucas. Nobuo is the name of the main character in this book. Can you say it again? Yes. Nobuo, spelled N-O-B-U-O, is the main character in this book. Five points if you can steal it. Just have five seconds, so got to hustle. Okay, so the correct answer is 30 Minutes Over Oregon, a Japanese pilot's World War II story by Mark Tyler Nobleman. All right, we will stay over here. It is top of the order with Maria. In which book does Kate learn about forgiveness, friendship, and family while going through some rough times? Three Rules of Everyday Magic mm -hmm. by Amanda Hill. That is correct. Well done for 10 points. The Three Rules of Everyday Magic by Amanda Hill. Miranda, in which book do we learn about the only one of the seven wonders of the world that is still standing? Seven Wonders of the World Still Standing. At the bottom of the word by nine. I'm sorry, that's not correct. Five points if you can get the title. Okay, the answer is Ancient Egypt by Stephanie Warren Drimmer. Did you know that one, Lucas? <laughs> okay. We come back over here to Jefferson and Harania. In which book do four villains begin their quest to become good by rescuing, rescuing a kitten from a tree? The Bad Guys by Aaron Blaby. The Bad Guys by Aaron Blaby is good for 10 points. All right, we've got a good match going here. SJ for Krista McAuliffe, in which book does a woman tie a rope around her waist to keep a boy from getting lost during a snowstorm? The Children's Blizzard 1888 by Tarshish. That is correct. Chil the Children's Blizzard 1888 by Lauren Tarshish. All righty. It is Yvette for Jefferson in which book do you learn that basketball was invented in 1891 to condition young athletes during cold winter months? Chuck Taylor by Felix. Judges, yes, we accept that. Chuck Taylor, Sneaker Sensation by Felix is good. All right, um, we come over here to Krista McAuliffe Academy. Joshua, Annabelle, and Tiffany 
read Aunt Sarah's journal trying to find clues as to where she might be. Name this book. The Dull People by Ann Martin. You nailed it. All right. Nico, in which book does a woman lose her husband in a duel and then wore a velvet pouch around her neck which contained a poem her husband had written in her honor until she died? No, I'm sorry. Come over here. Five points if you can get it. <laughs> that buzzer kind of got you there, didn't it? It is Eliza, the story of Elizabeth Schuyler Hamilton by Margaret McNamara. Have you guys not been to Broadway and seen Hamilton yet? Okay. I, yeah, I'd encourage it. Okay. All right. We are down to our final four questions of the round. We will stay here with Lucas. In which book do Jennifer and Jeff hear a story from their grandmother about a relative from long ago? A Family Apart by Nixon. A Family Apart by Joan Lowry Nixon. Correct for 10 points. All right. Maria. In this book, any time the main character faced an obstacle, she thought about what she could do, not what she couldn't change. Name the book. Whenever she faced an ob obstacle, she thought about what she could do. Chance for five points. Rosie Revere and the Raucous Riveters by Patey. No, Patey. Sorry, that, it's, it's, the, the title isn't correct. It is Fancy Party Gowns, the story of fashion designer Ann Cole Lowe by Deborah Blumenthal. You guys into fancy party gowns? No. <laughs> oh, come on. I'll bet you are. Okay. Okay, Miranda, we'll stick with you. In what book does the main character and his best friend walk a cow from the rundown farm where it used to live into town to move to the zoo and end up needing to be escorted by the police because the cow causes a traffic jam. Home of the Brave by Applegate. Home of the Brave, Catherine Applegate is correct. Final question of the round right here. It belongs to Harania. When these powerful storms hit land, rain falls hard and fast, winds howl, trees are bent to the ground and roofs can fly off into the air. Name the book where you learn this information. Hurricane Watch by Melissa Stewart. Hurricane Watch by Melissa Stewart is correct. Well played by both teams. Everybody can exhale. Okay. All right. So while they're calculating up the scores, let's talk with you guys a little bit. So Jefferson, first of all, great shirts. Really like the shirts. And uh, how did you guys divide up the books, what was your strategy uh, in, in coming up with uh, preparing for this competition? Did you read them in, as, as a team? Did you divide up, say, you know, each person takes so many books, or what'd you do? Like, our teammates, like, back for backup, uh -huh. they, like, read some too, and we read the same ones as them, but just in case someone was sick, they read our books as well. I see. Okay, good. And you guys are what, uh, sophomores, juniors in high school? What, what, what grade are you? <laughs> I'm in fourth grade. You're in fourth? I'm in fifth. I'm in fifth. So? I'm in fourth. Okay, so two fourths and fifth, okay. What about you guys? What what uh, what grades are you? Fourth. Fourth. Third. Third. Okay, and Miranda, you, you were in this competition last year, I hear. How'd you do? Um, well, we um, took a third place last year. Good, good. All right. How did you guys, you know, prepare for this competition with the books? Well, um, we, had, we had 64 books, and then each, each person would read 16 books. Okay. 
Okay, so you just divided them up evenly. And uh, some of us read uh, after we were done on one list, we read some on uh, the other list. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, good. Well, it shows that both teams were certainly very prepared. And the final score in this game, 102 for Krista McAuliffe and 62 for Jefferson Academy. So congratulations to the Krista McAuliffe Academy Comets. You are the winner and you will play in our final match of the, the day and our final round. So right now we're going to take a look at the book talks from the teams in round two and we'll switch out the teams. Today, it's time for the Ple Pleasant Valley Tiger Respect Pledge. I, I pledge, pledge no. <laughs> Today, Today, I will, will give, give everyone, everyone and everything respect. respect. Remember, <laughs> everyone is important, so, so please treat people, people kindly. <laughs> Mr. Tiger, what are you doing here? I'm hungry for children. Would you rather sink your teeth into a good book? Blah, blah, blah! Just let me eat you already! Okay, well, you can we, you can read with us Rosary of Rain and the Rocketist Riveters about a um, clever girl. Hmm. Let me hear it. The setting is in Ambrosie's house and the Riveter's house. The characters are Rosie, Iggy, Ada, and... Rosa and Mrs. Agnes Lou. And the summary is about a girl who wants to join the Riveters and she found out that her aunt Rose wants to join the River. I mean, is already in the Riveters. And she found out her neighbor was in the Riveters, so she wanted to join the Riveters with her auntie and they discover and create things with people. Interesting. Maybe I would not eat you after all. Hmm. This concludes our big talk. Pleasant Valley Elementary will begin the round with 11 points and Woodman Elementary starts with three points from their book talks. Now, the Pleasant Valley team will answer the first question. Before we do that though, let's introduce ourselves. Let's start over here 
with Woodman. And uh, Akia, you want to introduce yourself, your, your name, and the title of your favorite book? I'm Akia, and my favorite book is The Old Willis Place by Han. Okay, make sure you speak up good and loud into the mic. Go ahead. My name is Andrew. My favorite book is Gertie's Leap to Greatness, but I don't know the author. Okay. Uh-huh. My name is Winnie, and my favorite book is The Bad Guys by Aaron Blaby. Hmm. My name is Reagan, and my favorite book is Ada's Violin by Susan Hood. Okay. Very well. They are the Woodpeckers from Woodman Elementary. We come over here to the Pleasant Valley Tigers. Please introduce yourself and the title of your favorite book. My name is Sophia, and my favorite book is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by Rowling. Okay. My name is Carter, and my favorite book is Window by Gordon Corman. My name is Lori, and my favorite book is Real Friends by Hale. My name is Isaac, and my favorite book is Big Nate Blast Off by Lincoln Pierce. All right. My name is Jim. I told you my favorite book in the first round. My second favorite book is Katie No Pockets. Anybody read that when you're real little? Okay. It's a legitimate book, I swear. Okay. Well, then here we go. Uh, let the battle begin, and we are going to start here to my right with the Tigers from Pleasant Valley and Sophia. In which book? does the main character use her imagination to make friends and feel better about life? Real Friends by Hale. Real Friends, Shannon Hale is good for 10 points. All right, good start here. Come over here to Woodman, Akia. In which book does the main character feel trapped in the culture in which she was raised? Repeat it? Yes. In which book does the main character feel trapped in the culture in which she was raised? Ankies. I'm sorry? Ankies. No, I'm sorry. That's, that's not correct. We come over here. Chance for five points. The Red Pencil by Pinkney. The Red Pencil by Andrea Davis Pinkney is correct. We're going to stay here and pass the book along to Carter. At school, Ted has five desks put in a pentagon shape to make his small sixth grade island. In the middle of his island, he has a swivel chair so that he can change desks depending on the subject being taught. Name the book. Creates a sixth grade island. Big Nate Blast Off by Pierce. Sorry, that's not correct. Chance for five points. Repeat. Sorry, guys, that happens quickly. Uh, Room One, A Mystery or Two by Andrew Clements. We'll stay here with Woodman and Andrew. In which book do you read about a horse that was trained to work in battle with rewards like a peanut butter sandwich, an apple, a sugar cube, or even a chocolate bar? Thirty seconds. Chance for points. Sergeant Reckless by McCormick and Bruno. That is correct. So Sergeant Reckless, the true story of the little horse who became a hero by Iacopo Bruno and Patricia McCormick. Good for five points, and we'll move it down here to Lariah. A junior high girl learns how to knit in what book? Fancy Party Gowns by Blumenthal. No, I'm sorry. Fancy Party Gowns, not correct only in this occurrence, but uh, over here. It is Sammy Keys and the Hotel Thief by Wendlin Von Dronen. Okay, we'll stay over here with the Woodpeckers. Winnie, in this nonfiction book about a liquid, 
you learn that the majority of snowflakes are six-sided. Name the book. Six-sided snowflakes. Okay, chance to steal five points over here for Pleasant Valley, if you can get the title. A Drop of Water by Wick. A Drop of Water by Walter Wick is good for five points. Okay, we stay over here, and Isaac. In what book do you read about a girl whose mother died when she was born, and her father died when she was four years old, so she lives with her aunt and uncle? Eight Keys by Lafleur. Eight Keys by Suzanne Lafleur. Well done. Ten points there for Pleasant Valley. Uh, we come back over here, and it's uh, Reagan's turn. Reagan, in which book do you read that a group of young musicians became a recycled orchestra? Three Rules of Everyday Magic. Sorry, that's not correct. Chance for five points. Ada's Violin by Hood. Yes, Ada's Violin, the story of the recycled orchestra of Paraguay by Susan Hood. All right, we uh, stay over here with the Tigers of Pleasant Valley. It's top of the order. Sophia, name the book in which the main character wore purple because it was the color worn by queens in Timbuktu. Ancient Egypt by Warren Jimmer. Sorry, that's not correct. Chance for five points over here. Okay, the correct answer is Meet Denitra Brown by Nikki Grimes. All right, we'll come over here. Akia, you're having a rough time there with your microphone. Sorry about that. Uh, in which book do you read about the history of the Spanish occupation of Mexico? Say? No, sorry, that's not correct. Chance for five points. Alamo All Stars by Hale. Yeah, Alamo All Stars, a Texas tale by Nathan Hale. All right, we will stay over here with Pleasant Valley. It is Carter's turn. In this book, Lissa goes inside the house because she feels Miss Lillian is asking her to come. Name the book. Beezus and Ramora by Clary. Sorry, that's not correct. Chance for five points. Repeat it. Lissa goes inside. Yeah, there's, there's no time to repeat on those steals, guys. You've got to be ready. The, the answer, by the way, is The Old Willis Place by Mary Downing Hahn. Okay, we'll stay over here with Andrew. In which book does the character spend time on a ship becoming friends with the horses? Thirty seconds to confer. Repeat it. Yes. In which book does the character spend time on a ship, becoming friends with the horses? And five points. Shipwreck by Corman. No, I'm sorry. The answer is Winnie's Great War by Lindsay Maddock. Winnie, I thought you'd you'd be all over that one. No. Okay. All right. So we stay over here. It is Lariah's turn. This book's main character is born underground and is named Borlin because of the minerals in the soil nearby. Grump by Shirtlift. Grump by Liesl Shirtlift. 
Good for 10 points. All right, now Winnie, in what book does the main character earn a little extra money by fishing for sponges off the islands of Key West? Bless you. Fishes for sponges off the islands of Key West. Chance for five points. Turtle in Paradise by Holm. Turtle in Paradise by Jennifer Holm. Good for five points. All righty, we'll stay here, and it is Isaac's turn. People laughed at Willie all his life because in Vermont, snow was common as dirt. But the book he wrote at the end of his life, Snow Crystals, is still read. Name this book. Snowflake Bentley by Miller. Snowflake Bentley by, by whom? Miller. Sorry, we can give you five points. So the correct author is Jacqueline Briggs Martin. That's all right, five points, and it's over here to Woodman and Reagan. Jared and Simon read the book about fairies and determined that the creature in the walls is a Bogart, a fairy creature who was once a helpful brownie but is now angry and doing bad things. Name this book. All right, chance over here for five points if you can get it. The Bad Guys by Blavy? No, the answer is The Field Guide by Holly Black and Tony DiTerlizzi. Okay, I think it's top of the order here with Sophia, so that means we have four questions remaining in the round. In which book would you learn that toilets are called heads, walls are called bulkheads, beds are called berths, and the kitchen is called a galley? Ancient Egypt by Warren Drummer. I'm sorry, that's not correct. Chance for five points. Okay, the correct answer is Shipwreck by Gordon Corman. All right, Akia, in which book did two boys experience their greatest adventure when they killed a charging bear in the forest? Killed a charging bear. Family apart. Family apart. Family apart. I'm sorry? Family apart. Nope. Family apart's not correct. Chance for five. When he's straight. Sorry, you gotta say fast. All right. Sign of the Beaver by Elizabeth George Spear. We stay over here. It is Carter's turn. This is the last question for Pleasant Valley. In which book is there a slow form of transportation called a piston bully? Form of transportation. The field guy in black and teacher Lizzie. I'm sorry, that's not correct. We come over here. Anybody know? Okay. The answer is At the Bottom of the World by Bill Nye. Final question of the round is Andrews. Which book is based on the true story of a girl's memories of time spent with her grandfather 
in the American Natural History Museum, which had hallways adorned with artwork created by that same grandfather. Tigers, with, tigers and teacups with Toppy? Yes, do you know the author? It's the same. Tigers and Tea with Toppy. No. It's by the grandma. Okay, five points awarded. All right, good match, guys, good match. While they uh, tally up the results, let's talk a little bit. So, Woodman Woodpeckers, how did you guys prepare for this match? We read, we read one, we would read one book a week. No, uh -huh. it'd be three. So like, we would, like, we would organize them by colors. Yeah, each, each person would get a color. Okay. Oh, you, you color coded the books. Mm -hmm. Each person read so many books. And then did you have, like, discussions about the books? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, good. And who's your librarian there at, uh, Ms. Sanderson? Ms. Sanderson. Okay, very well. You played well. Over here, Pleasant Valley, um, how did you guys prepare? Um, each of us would read one of, of each color of the list. So you color-coded also. And if, okay. we, and if we read all of our lists, we would read another list that okay. some people struggled on so we can help them. I think you read a lot of lists. <laughs> You're very well prepared, Lariah. So, good. And who is your librarian? Mrs. Mrs. Frank. Okay, well, good. Well, I hope that, uh, you know, it was Battle of the Books fun, and not, not just the show, but preparing and you know, reading all the books. Good, good. Okay, our score here in the round, 76 for Pleasant Valley Elementary, 8 for Woodman. So congratulations, Pleasant Valley Elementary will meet the winner of the first round for our championship match. While we change teams for our final round, let's see if you can answer some questions about last year's books. We are ready to start our final battle. The winner of this round will be one of our champions for the 2019-2020 school year. And the teams are from McAuliffe and Pleasant Valley Elementary. Good luck to both teams. 
And you've already introduced yourselves in previous rounds, so we just get right to the game. And we will start here with Krista McAuliffe, the Comets, and Lucas. The dog ran in circles and barked. Mr. Abbott ordered the wagons to form a circle. From the rumbling of the ground, you could tell a herd of buffalo was coming. Name the book. Rescue on the Oregon Trail by Messenger. Rescue on the Oregon Trail by Kate Messner is correct for 10 points. All right. So, Krista McAuliffe off to a good start. Here's Pleasant Valley. Sophia, in which book does the author suggest you wear long pants and long sleeves even during summer months? Rocks and Minerals by Simon. Rocks and Minerals by Simon. Rocks and Minerals, Seymour Simon. 10 points there. Okay. It is Miranda for Krista McAuliffe. In what book do you read about a girl who wrote letters to famous mathematicians using the fake name of Monsieur LeBlanc because she was afraid they wouldn't respond if they knew she was a girl? Nothing Stops Sophie by Barto. No, nothing Stops Sophie, the story of unshakable mathematician Sophie Germain by Cheryl Bardo. Ten points. All right. Lariah, in which book are the fifth graders doing a play about a girl who eats junk food and the famous Jessica Walsh is in the audience? A girl who eats junk food. Three rolls of everyday magic by Hill. Sorry, that's not correct. Chance for five points. Gertie's great to Gertie's leap to greatness. Gertie's leap to greatness by Beasley. Beasley. Yes, five points over here. Gertie's leap to greatness by Kate Beasley. Well done. And we'll stay here with S. J. from Krista McAuliffe. In which book did a girl go to college at Princeton to become a lawyer and judge? Turning Pages by Sotomayor. Sotomayor. Turning Pages, My Life Story by Sonia Sotomayor is correct. Good for 10 points. All righty, it is Carter. In which book do the villages attempt to burn the witch that was formerly their healer? Burn the witch that was formerly their healer. Sign of the Beaver by. Sorry, that's George not correct. Bear. Over here, five points. It is Mad Wolf's daughter, the Mad Wolf's daughter, excuse me by Diane Magras. And we will stay over here with Krista McAuliffe and Joshua. In which book do you read about the ghost of Jean Lafitte, a pirate? Good Night for Ghost by, by Osborne. Good Night for Ghost, Mary Pope Osborne, 10 points. All right, it is Isaac for Pleasant Valley. In which book does Chizuko help a girl learn to fold paper birds? Sadako and the Thousand Paper Cranes by Kaur. Sadako and the Thousand Paper Cranes by Eleanor Kaur. Good for 10 points. It's top of the order time. Lucas. In which book does Georgina write a step-by-step -step plan thinking of her strategy before actually carrying it out? Yes, in which book does Georgina write a step-by-step -step plan thinking of her strategy before actually carrying it out? How to Steal a Dog by O'Connor. Boy, you got that in just under the wire. Well done. How to Steal a Dog, Barbara O'Connor. Top of the order time for Pleasant Valley. 
Sophia, in which book does one of the main characters think social studies is awesome? Big Nate Blast Off by Pierce. Big Nate Blast Off, Lincoln Pierce is correct for 10 points. Miranda, for Krista McAuliffe, in which book does the main character get chased by a hunting dog? Mad Wolf's Daughter by... Sorry, that, that's not correct. We'll go over here for five points if you can get the title. The Ugly Duckling by Jerry Pinkney is the title. We'll stay over here with Pleasant Valley and Lariah. In which book do three main characters find themselves facing an ocean liner sporting a black flag with a white skull and crossbones? Shipwreck by Corman. Sorry, that's not correct. Come over here for five points. Not so jolly Roger by Sheska. Not so jolly Roger by John Cheska is correct for five points. And I believe it is SJ's turn. In which book is the main character Madeline kidnapped by marmots in retaliation for hypnotizing a marmot? Yeah. In which book is the main character, Madeline, kidnapped by marmots in retaliation for hypnotizing a marmot? Oh, oh, oh. Um, okay. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Bunny Detective Extraordinaire. Mr. and Mrs. Bunny, Bunny Detective Extraordinaire. Extraordinaire by uh, Harvath. By Harvath. Yeah. So, <laughs> ten points. Good teamwork there. Mr. and Mrs. Bunny Detectives Extraordinary by Polly Horvath is correct. All right, it is Carter's turn. Is that right? Yeah, Carter's turn. Okay, Carter's turn. Name the book in which the main character learns to read, write, and shoot rubber bands. Read, write, and shoot rubber bands. A marvelous thing that came from a spring by Ford. Sorry, that's not correct. Chance for five points. The Red Pencil by Pinkney. No, I'm sorry. It is The World According to Humphrey by Betty Burney. So no points awarded on that question. We'll stay over here with Krista McAuliffe and Joshua. Name the book in which the story of a special tea set is told over several generations. The Blessing Cup by Polacco. The Blessing Cup, Patricia Polacco, is correct for 10 points. And Isaac, name the book where the main character's little sister invites 15 four-year-olds to their house for a party. Main character's little sister invites 15 four-year-olds to their house for a party. Turtle in Paradise by whom? Sorry. Beezus and Ramona by Beverly Clary. Yes, Beezus and Ramona by Beverly Clary is correct for five points. It is top of the order. That means we are down to four final questions in the round. Lucas, the family in this book watches their house get swept away by a flood. They relocate and build a new house. Name this book. Hurricane Watch by Stewart? Nope. Serafina's Promise by Anne E. Berg. Sophia, a boy enters a mysterious magic shop and leaves with a mysterious egg. Name this book. Jeremy Thatcher Dragon Hatcher by Coville. Jeremy Thatcher, Dragon Hatcher by Bruce Coville. Good for 10 points. All right. Last question of the round directed to Krista McAuliffe is for Miranda. After promising her doctor she would return one day and walk for him, 
Winnipeg does exactly that. Name the book. Small Steps by Carrot. Peg Carrot. Pe Small Steps by Peg Carrot or Carrot, however you pronounce it. Yes, good for 10 points. All right, and our final question of the round is for Loria. In this book, the author uses similes. One simile states the hole the machines had dug was like the crater of a volcano. Name the book. Okay, yeah, in this book, the author uses similes. One simile states the hole the machines had dug was like the crater of a volcano. Rocks and Minerals by Simon. Nope, I'm sorry. Chance for five. Okay, the answer is Fantastic Mr. Fox by Roald Dahl. Okay, that brings our championship game to an end. Well played, both teams. And I believe uh, when we chatted a little bit after the first round, I forgot to ask you all, who is your librarian? Mrs. Levine. Mrs. Yep. Mrs. Levine, and good, good. And, and I bet she was a big help through all this? Yes. And yes. your librarian was a big help as well? Yes. Yeah, good. All right, so was there one book that you guys thought was just really great, one book you liked above all the rest? No? Yeah? You really like that? You think that'd make a good movie? <laughs> no. I'm thinking starring Tom Hanks. No? Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all right. What type of reading, now that you've read all these books, what type of reading do you like to do in your spare time? What kind of things do you read? I like um, chapter books. Chapter books? I like good. science and fantasy. Science yeah. and fantasy. Okay. Fiction. I'll bet you read like some Harry Potter, that sort of stuff? No. Yeah, I kind of like that. Uh -huh. Harry Potter. I, I read Harry Potter. It's yeah. Really good. What, you guys read Harry Potter? Anything like that? Yeah? I'm on the third one. You're what now? I'm on the third one. You're on the third Harry Potter book. Good. I'm on the fourth book. Okay. Good. And, and what, uh, what grade in school are you guys? I'm in fifth. She's in fourth. Fifth and fifth. Okay, so we've got a combination there. All right, well, again, great final round. And the score in it was 107 for McAuliffe Elementary, 51 for Pleasant Valley. So our winner of the day is Krista McAuliffe Academy, the Comets. Congratulations. Oh, we've got some fabulous prizes for you. If you will, uh, this basket's a little bit heavy, but take, uh, take one and pass it. Baskets as big as you are. <laughs> okay, so hey, as they uh, get their prizes, everybody's dedication and teamwork throughout the year is a great accomplishment. We are proud of our players, all the students who participated on the teams from our schools, thanks to their efforts. Thank you also again to the librarians, the classroom teachers, and of course the parents for all who they have contributed. Join us again this afternoon at 2 o'clock here on WPS-TV, Cox Cable Channel 20, or usd259.org forward slash WPS-TV online to see another exciting Battle the Books competition. And above all, please keep reading.